हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीक आई हेड आस्ट वन एम सी क्यू रिलेटेड टू द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस एम सी क्यू अ थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड मेल कंप्लेन ऑफ कोलिकी पेन इन एपडोमैन फाउल स्मेलिंग एंड लूज स्टूल एंड एंड ही इज रिपोर्टेड वेट लॉस इन रिसेंट मंथ्स नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ अल्कोहलिज्म ब्लड रिपोर्ट वॉज अनरिमार्केबल नथिंग exceptional was found or uh, nothing wrong was found much in the blood report and stool examination no pus or occult blood found in the stools but fat content was 30 grams 30 grams in a single stool sample so what could be the most probable diagnosis and the options given were hepatitis uh, pancreatic insufficiency or inflammatory bowel disease or peptic ulcer so the point was based on these findings you had to just first figure out which organ is involved might be involved and what could be the probable diagnosis and i had given a hint that uh, you can try the exclusion method exclusion method uh the go on excluding the options one by one and you can arrive at the answer anyways let's see the answer now uh look there is no uh there are not many changes in blood report look if there was hepatitis and uh, uh, the liver was involved then uh, possibly you could have seen some things in the blood report uh maybe serum bilirubin or elevation of the liver enzymes etc but that's not the case that, that was specifically mentioned uh, so as to rule out the liver involvement involvement a uh, inflammatory bowel disease now even then even in uh, inflammatory bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome when the bowels are involved there is a possibility of pus or occult blood in the stools there would be uh, pain in the abdomen yes but and of course there is weight loss also found in the uh, irritable bowel syndrome but then there was no pus or occult blood uh in the stools and only positive finding in the stool was fat content 30 grams now uh more or less it would rule out the inflammatory bowel disease which has a different kind of presentation so uh and one more option was peptic ulcer look in the peptic ulcer if you see the stool finding there is a possibility of occult blood because uh, sometimes there is a bleeding ulcer uh, and then that bleeding uh, that that blood would travel through the digestive tract and there may be occult blood in the uh, in the stools so that's not the case and that more or less uh, uh, rules out the peptic ulcer and therefore it settles the case for pancreatic insufficiency look uh, there is this is possibly a uh, pancreatic insufficiency and in this mcq i wanted you to know the normal fat content uh, or uh, which is allowed per day fat content uh, fat excretion in the stools uh, so the mcq was entirely based on that one particular angle the fat content uh, in the stools passed over 24 hours should be about 7 grams now if it is more than that more than 10 to 15 grams in in uh, uh, that to in one single stool sample we would label it as steatorrhea so this mcq was to uh, make you understand the concept of steatorrhea passage of excessive fat in the stools now only thing is why would that happen look fat digestion and absorption is a complex process it would require bile from the liver and it would require pancreatic enzymes lipase colipase uh, phospholipase etc so uh in this case there is no alcoholism so possibly uh liver involvement like cirrhosis or any other such abnormality is almost ruled out and therefore there may not have been any 
uh, bile salt deficiency as such and that brings us to the pancreatic insufficiency. If there is pancreatic enzyme insufficiency, there is no lipase, colipase, phospholipase, etc. So fat digestion and absorption uh, is jeopardized and uh, it's not happening properly. Since fat is not getting digested and absorbed normally, so fat will be lost into the stools. Excessive fat in the stools is called as steatorrhea. So that was a, a case of steatorrhea. And when there is excessive fat in the stools, there will be uh, loose motions or loose stools and uh, there will be excessive movement of the bowels uh, resulting in colicky pain in the abdomen. So uh, this MCQ was uh, just to highlight that one term steatorrhea, its definition, what is the normal uh, fat content in the stools and uh, what are the possible causes for it.